Hey kids, so today we're going to be learning how to paint a backpack, but before we do that, I have a backstory. If you don't want to hear it, just fast forward until you see me painting and stuff. Anyways, I was always tired of accidentally picking up the wrong backpack, as many of the people at my school share the same brand as me. I mean, the, uh, sorry, I was just moving your backpack card isn't exactly infinite. So one day, on the melancholic bus ride to school, I pronounced that all my worldly problems would be solved once I slapped some pieces of color onto my zippered companion. Of course, my crackhead friend decided to fuel my aspirations by getting me fabric paint for Secret Santa. And so, my mission began. Alright, prepare yourself for some aesthetic paint montages. I thought it would be a wise idea to test out what the paint would look like on black fabric, since my bag is, um, black. But oh god, y'all, let this be a freaking lesson to read the label prior to embarking on risky endeavors. Of course, this prompted a trip to the holy land of Walmart so I could get white fabric paint to serve as a base coat. The little kerfuffle ended up working in my favor, because my mom took pity on me and bought stuff to make pizza. So the spray paint warranted satisfying results on the black fabric, and I felt ready to pursue the adventure that awaited me. As remarkably demonstrated by this clip, cinematography ain't my strong suit. I think it is worth mentioning to actually invest in good tape in efforts to actually protect your backpack from unwanted paint. Duct tape doesn't exactly do a fine job of that. And once you do invest in said tape, I would think it would be wise to actually cover the areas you don't want painted rather than merely placing a useless tablecloth on top. I mean, just look at how I anxiously peer under the tablecloth to assess the obvious damage. Also, you might want to, like, go outside to not get high off spray paint, too. Okay, so prior to actually painting your backpack, you want to do some planning as to what to actually paint on it. Being the person that I am, I looked up simple Bob Ross painting, and this is what showed up. I then proceeded to draw out my plan and tailor it to my preferences, and this was the result. Alright, the fun part. I regret to say that I kind of backed out of the whole checkered pattern thingy last second and resolved to just do some simple horizontal stripes instead. Even still, my paint job is shoddy. Remember that tape I mentioned earlier? It would have been really helpful here. So I just kind of outlined my design with a regular wooden pencil, which was helpful since it showed up pretty nicely. But what do you know? Of course, I forgot to flip and paint that one spot. I plan to do an alternating red and gold pattern because I personally like the color combo. However, into the process, I realized that the gold doesn't really show up well against the white paint, so I decided to do a layer of yellow and then add the gold. Alright, I think I'm gonna shut up now and just cue in some relaxing music. Bye for now!
so I'm back. Funny story, remember how the original plan had trees in the background? Well, I hoped to add those in the next day once the paint in the sky had dried. But then a day passed, and then another. And then it was the evening of the next day when I walked into my room and I was like, crap, I should probably finish that. But then my dad was like, yo, you want to watch James Bond with me? And I was like, how could I possibly decline that offer? I mean, I was the one who forced my group members to let our signs for a title be licensed to kill. And of course, I was not about to film while watching James Bond while painting my backpack. Which brings me to the point of, sorry y'all, I didn't film me painting the trees and adding final touch-ups. On the bright side, here's the final reveal. This process was truly exhilarating. If you enjoyed this never ending roller coaster, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's always that like or subscribe button that's begging for attention. Well, I guess I'm done now. Bye, kids.